Hello and welcome back to the channel. So the story I want to cover today is actually kind of a funny one and um, it's actually from the quartering. So it's all about uh, how he got targeted and how he demolished his haters. So let's just jump right in and watch what he has to say on this. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, I've had two calls with uh, government officials in the last day uh, from the DEA and uh, from uh, the DPS uh, in, in in various states, they are uh, responding to uh, some complaints. There is a, a group of about 12 people that really, really hate my channel. And anything that I do that is successful, the fact that the channel continues to grow, the fact that, you know, the coffee business is exploding month after month, just getting more, just building more and more momentum. They are literally screaming at the clouds over it. And uh, they got really mad that I gave away free money to uh, my subscribers. Very mad. So mad that they had a whole little thread about how they were gonna, they were gonna report me to the, the, to the governments, the government. Uh, and they did. They reported <laughs> me to the government. And uh, I had two straight phone calls with various law enforcement agencies, again, for giving my viewers money who supported Coffee Brand Coffee or didn't support it and just were viewers of the channel. That's right. You you bought. We threw random money in, in in boxes. Like no good deed ever goes unpunished, right? <laughs> I can't give away free money without my the the biggest morons on the planet thinking this is going to be a huge own. Well, that's funny. Like, yeah, I, I like his comment there. No good deed goes unpunished. That seems appropriate. Uh, in any case, like Jeremy then details about how he basically has this subreddit that you know is focused around him and these people apparently like to call and harass businesses that they think are working with him even though they're not actually um, and then they call and harass his sponsors um, they they think that um, that Jeremy is a um, how do I say this a follower uh, a follower of the um, small mustache man right um, he likes to play um, with white sheets um, and say uh, he's a uh, big fan of, say, Yahtzee, something like that. So these people, they're, they're fun. Like, I mean, I've watched Jeremy for years now, like a couple of years, and I can say, like, he actually provides a nice, fair, even commentary on uh on topics of the day, on news. He keeps it fairly apolitical, probably more apolitical than me even. So, I mean, I, I will call stuff out occasionally. I try to stay away from politics, but sometimes, it, you know, the topic just asks us to delve into it. Because look, like some on some things, clearly one side has taken a position. And when I'm commenting on that, I, I'm not gonna pretend like that side hasn't taken that position. So. Sometimes that's going to happen. I, I try to, to stay away from it as much as possible because it's it's kind of like a zero sum game. It doesn't matter what you say, you're going to piss somebody off, one side or the other. And I, personally, I don't really care. Um, again, I've said this before. I don't care what your opinion is, what you um, prefer. Like if you're a left or right, whatever. As long as you don't want to harm other people, and you don't use the government at your behest to harm other people. I don't really care. Well, let's get into the rest of this. Uh, I want to jump ahead. Of course, both conversations were uh, filled with laughs. And uh, one particular agent I had to explain, uh, both agents I had to explain exactly what um, uh, loser uh, like uh, uh, haters are. <laughs> Most of these. He had to explain what fucking internet trolls were to the DEA and the DPS to these special agents. That's fucking classic, man. These people, they, they have no idea. They're like, they didn't know what they were getting ready and getting into when they made this phone call. People don't really understand internet culture. <laughs> and so in both conversations, uh, while many laughs are being shared, uh, 
you know, of course I did nothing wrong. Of course I did nothing wrong. Uh, but that didn't stop this little uh, subreddit who, you know, from harassing uh, a small business, uh, from from wasting filing um, bad faith police reports, which uh, is a crime. So I, I mean, like these people are so stupid. Yeah, I'm looking forward to see how that turns out. I think like they can call on the DEA, and when the DEA calls me and I say no, actually. Uh, this is not illegal. Here's all the things. And they say, oh, you're right. It's not illegal. Well, what's going on here? Why do we have 10 different forms fill filled out from anonymous people, concerned citizens on the internet? And I say, oh, well, here's actually the subreddit where you can, where you can track it all and you can get their information and you can prosecute these people for filing false police reports. They <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Really interested in that. I bet that was the they best were. part. <laughs> they were very interested in this little uh, this little group of people that uh, was wasting government time by filing false uh, police reports. <clears throat> All right, let's skip ahead to yeah, a little more on the bad faith police reports. Both, interestingly, both agents were very interested in uh, the type of people that are filing these reports, mm -hmm. and um, I decided. What is the best thing to do, right? Uh, you know, do I shine a light on these losers? Uh, I don't think so. But what I will do is use their pathetic attempts to shut down my coffee cup. Like literally, they're these these people are so important in their own heads that they like. If you could read some of these threads, it would make you laugh. Like, we figured out where he's getting his coffee beans. He's not actually growing them in his back. He's buying coffee beans from somebody. We got him. Uh, I can only imagine reading that thread. <laughs> I can imagine for Jeremy reading that thread and just dying laughing when you come to that part where like, we figured it out. He's buying coffee beans. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no shit, you fucking geniuses. <laughs> Oh my God. I just get this picture of Jeremy in a giant freaking sombrero with a serape over him with a donkey in his backyard. <laughs> and all these like leftoid morons on Twitter were like, we got him. He buys coffee beans. <laughs> uh, okay. This part where he, this is like the icing on the cake for me. This is what he talks about, what he's going to do uh, moving forward. So uh, seriously, this is this is one of the best parts. Yes, I do. Um, and, uh, you know, it's like one of those things where like, hey, you want to criticize me? That's okay. But once you start filing bad faith and false police reports, now you've broken the law. And now you've broken the law in several states. And of course... We did nothing wrong. So what's the best thing I thought I could do? What is the number one thing I thought? How could I, do I, do I highlight these hilarious losers? Um, no, no. Well, you have. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it again. I'm going to give away more money. And you're going to, you can use promo code haters to save a checkout on everything uh. on my website. And guess what? All the information will be in the, description below and you can get some free money in fact i'll double the amount of money we gave away last time how about that dude this <clears throat> jeremy is a class act i really like this guy his persona at, at least is it, he either has like this rock solid persona or this is how he really is and i could tell you like as someone who's a youtuber and has been doing like I've been uploading videos to YouTube for actually 11 years. It, my channel is 11 years old, this channel. And it started off with many different things over the years I've tried. And honestly, like I just, you know, like about a month and a half ago said, you know what? I'm just gonna cover the things that I'm always talking about at home. That's what I'm gonna do. The things that I just sit here and rant about and talk about at home, I'm gonna cover that and I'm just gonna take the filter off and I'm gonna say what I think. And that's what I do here. I just try to take the filter off and say what I think, and I cover topics that interest me. That's all I'm doing. And I, that seems to be how Jeremy is. And I think to try to have a fake persona is very difficult. Being yourself is fairly easy and straightforward. 
So when I see like the candid stuff that Jeremy sometimes puts out, and when I see him on lives and I see him on, on YouTube, this it, to me, it's WYSIWYG. Absolutely. What you see is what you get. So, and that's the same here. What you see is what you get. In any case, um, one last thing, which I thought was great. And this is just sort of like to wrap this up. So let's, uh, let's see this little clip. Well, I can confirm that uh, they are locking down their little hate sub. And uh, I think I think actually we should probably take it over. I mean, uh, you know, I don't mind subs or people making fun of me or even pointing out times when I screwed up. But I think that this sub is just so um, concerned with, I mean, just flat out lies and uh, trying to destroy my business, trying to hurt my, my family, my employees. Uh, I think we're just going to start we're probably just gonna have to take over the subreddit and, and, uh, and you know it is a public subreddit and um, it is dedicated to me even though the name of it is libelous <laughs> so uh, yeah it's a good yeah I think that's a great idea take it over absolutely um, I like to watch them squirm they're 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 absolutely <laughs> losing their minds now uh, after getting dunked on yesterday if you didn't follow the story Okay, just kind of recounts the story. So let's skip ahead to this this point that where he actually posts in the Reddit. So let's just cover this. You know, stop by the sub maybe and let him let him know. Thanks. I just put a thank you in here. Obviously, they're trying to downvote me to oblivion, but I put a huge thank you. So I really want to thank the sub for the biggest day in sales history for Coffee Brand Coffee. With your help, we'll easily crack a million sales in sales this year alone. I sure hope that's that we hit that. <clears throat> so uh again uh that's great if you're not sure what that is r slash quartering r slash the quartering is a yeah in something that rhymes with yahtzee and um yeah i mean if you want to um create an account and head over there then just uh, I would upvote his uh, upvote his his uh, thank you. I mean th that's classic right there. I really wanted to thank this sub for easily the biggest day in sales history for Coffee Brand Coffee. With your help, we'll easily crack one million in sales this year alone. Keep it up. Really thankful. Can't wait to make another video and hit that next thousand order day today. Appreciate you. Uh, okay, so this was a good laugh. I hope you enjoyed the topic. Uh, every once in a while, it's good to sort of just cover a YouTuber and cover the hilariousness of being a YouTube personality. Let me know what you think, though, in the comments down below. <laughs> should, should we all just jump on there and take over the subreddit? I, I say we do it. And what do you think about uh, Jeremy's plans to basically parlay this uh, into even more sales by, you know, doing the promotion again with his little promo code haters? Hey, man, if you like coffee, I don't know if his coffee's any good. I haven't tried it. I actually quit drinking coffee because it's an experiment, but that's for another time. Uh, if you want to know more about that, you can actually go over to my other channel, Carnamentor, and you can see the video, which is like, I don't know, it's like nine things I learned by quitting coffee. I quit coffee for two months, and it was quite an interesting experiment if you want to know more about that. Again, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and if you want to continue to smash the narrative, then smash the like, subscribe, and share buttons, and have a great day. See ya.